Howdy again everyone, there aren't many camera lenses out there in the world that can actually see behind you, or at least behind your camera, but the specimen you see before you today is able to do exactly that, the 7 Artisans 4mm f2.8 fisheye. This thing is a circular fisheye lens with an unbelievable coverage of 225 degrees for some truly unique images. These pictures were taken on an APS-C camera. On a full frame camera, you'll just get more black around the edges. The lens also gives you a fully circular image when shooting video on an APS-C camera, which is handy as some circular fisheye lenses will cut off the top and bottom for you. That ultra extreme angle of view makes your pictures stand out incredibly well, but it's also quite tricky to compose an image like this, and also, you'll easily be catching your feet and your hands on the edges of the picture, unless you deliberately hold the camera away from you by the edges of your fingers. Still, some awesome picture possibilities here. The lens is available for Canon EOS M mount, Sony E mount, Fuji X and Micro Four Thirds and is only 150 US dollars. I'd like to thank the Pergear company for winging one over to me for evaluation, although as usual, this is a totally independent review. As you'd expect at this kind of price point, this is a totally manual lens, manual aperture control and manual focus, although focusing a lens that's this wide is really very easy to do. There's a huge depth of field being captured here, even at f2.8. The whole lens is metallic and the focus ring turns very smoothly and not very far. There's an aperture ring just behind it, which turns smoothly and somewhat heavily. Helpfully, it does have a little removable tab on the bottom to help distinguish it from the focus ring. That's a thoughtful touch, as the lens is so tiny that the control rings are obviously bunched together quite closely here. The lens comes with a metallic, slip-on cap which could do with being a little deeper to fit more securely. If you're someone who's precious about never letting your lens's glass get scratched, then handling this thing can be a nerve-wracking experience. Other than that, it handles perfectly fine and just as you'd expect for a low-budget Chinese lens. Let's take a look at image quality now. Obviously my normal test chart won't work too well with this lens, so I took it to a local beach. These pictures are taken on a Sony A5100 camera with its 24 megapixel APS-C sized sensor. In-camera corrections are not available with this lens. At f2.8, contrast is good and sharpness in the middle of your images is excellent. Over in the edges, the good news is that sharpness remains excellent and there's surprisingly little colour fringing here. Stop down to f4 for more brightness in the edges and more contrast in your image overall. The lens stays this sharp down to f11, where a little softness begins to creep in due to the effects of diffraction, and at f16, the image is noticeably softer. Still, it's a very impressive image overall and the lens would probably be fine on even higher resolution APS-C cameras than this one. I'm particularly impressed by the lack of chromatic aberration, which is somewhat of a rarity in a fisheye optic. This lens performs a nice little party trick in that its minimum focus distance is a very close 8 centimeters, potentially giving you some amazing close-ups, which could be a huge amount of fun. The other good news is that, even at f2.8, close-up image quality is just as sharp as at normal distances, so that's a very nice extra string to this lens's bow. Let's see how the lens performs against bright light. It's interesting, as you see, some flaring and glaring is definitely visible, but it's not causing serious problems here. Now, let's take a look at how the lens handles coma. At f2.8, in the corners of your images, we see just a touch of smearing on bright points of light, but nothing to really worry about. Let's zoom out and look for sun stars now. You need to stop down to about f11 for those to become quite noticeable, and at f16, they become nothing short of spectacular. Finally, bokeh. You might laugh at the idea of getting out of focus backgrounds on a 4mm lens on an APS-C camera, but actually, the close focusing distance does facilitate this. The quality of this lens's bokeh is absolutely fine here, no problems at all. Overall, well, I really enjoyed testing out this crazy little lens, and not just because it gave me a little break from the usual optics that make their way into my office. I've had some unbelievable personal problems recently, and oddly enough, this thing was such a breath of fresh air that it really cheered me up. 
it's a tricky optic to use, and also you won't exactly be needing circular fisheye images often in your portfolios, but it's fun, it's sharp, and its potential for crazy close-up photography is pretty eye-opening. It's also affordably priced, and so it easily comes recommended. Thanks for watching everyone, this was an enjoyable review to make. Most YouTubers out there have a second channel for all their random bits and bobs they like to put together. Well, I like to put all that stuff onto my Patreon page, exclusively for all my supporters over there. Thank you to all of you for helping to keep this channel going, and you can always check out my Patreon page in the description below. Ciao for now, everybody.